Welcome to our online worship experience. I am Pastor Aristeo Betil. Ako po yung senior pastor ng Christian Life Center, Cotabato City. And if, it, if you are new here, uh, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. At sa lahat ng mga regular po nanonood ng ating video, yung mga members ng CLC or members ng other church or kung sino ka man this morning, I want, I want to bless you today. May God will continue to pour out His blessing sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen? So, sino ba dito you are thankful that uh, in spite of this pandemic, in spite ng uh, almost three months po na tayo po ay nasa matinding crisis, uh, still you felt that God has been so good to you. Na hindi ka pinabayaan ng Panginoon that God supplied your need financially and uh, even uh, protection ng tayo ng Panginoon na hindi tayo magkasakit. You know what? God deserves the glory. Amen? He deserves the glory. Uh, let me begin by encouraging each one of us. Now, while tayo po yung magpapatuloy sa ating mensahe today, uh, please comment no uh, or react and even share itong message na ito to others right now so that maging blessing din naman ito sa kanila. Uh, you comment down below so that we will know kung uh, if if uh, this message or yung mga points na ating pong binabahagi ay talagang uh, maging uh, may impact no um, na intindihan po ng bawat isa sa atin. I would like to begin by asking you this question. No? Have you been in a situation that you feel like you run out of options? No? Na parang you have tried everything para solusyonan yung problema mo, and yet parang you are limited, no? You are helpless, yung resources mo, no, ay ay really uh, not enough to address ko ano yung situation mo. And finally, parang gusto mo nang sabihin, I can't do this anymore. I want to quit, no? But just as the moment na parang gusto mo na mag-quit, Friend, I want to encourage you this morning, no, this message, no, that uh, pinamanggatan po, if I can, God can, no. Pwede mo bang sabihin sa katabi mo right now, sa kasama mo dyan, no, uh, if I can, God can. Kaya ng Panginoon, no, or kaya comment down below, no. Uh, gusto ko pong uh, ibahagi sa iyo ang aking kwento. When we had our uh, first baby, yung panganay namin, no, binuntis, binubuntis ni Mrs. yung panganay namin, ah, uh, You know what? Uh, we are really excited because no, uh, mga one one year po halos ang sobra one year po yung hintay namin para mabuntis si Mrs. And finally, is the good news came na siya ay uh, buntis, no? And uh, you know what? As a pastor during the time, uh, medyo malit lang po yung aking tinatanggap. And uh, honestly speaking, wala po ako masyadong malaking ipon uh, in preparation for the delivery ng aking Mrs. Umaasa lang po ako ng milagro ng Panginoon at nananalangin na maging normal lang po ang kanyang, uh, yung kanyang delivery. But sometimes the Lord works uh, differently than what we expect. In fact, sometimes uh, nananalangin tayo na ito yung mangyari but iba yung kaparaanan ng Panginoon. No, the Lord works, works in a different way. Uh, not because uh, yung hinihingi natin ay siguro hindi, hindi tama o hindi akma, but God has a way of showing Himself to us na mapatunayan ng Panginoon na uh, we don't need to depend on ourselves, we don't need to depend on mga resources natin, but we will just put our trust in Jesus. Yun nga, yung panahon na na si Mrs. ay manganganak na, of course, I'm so excited. I rushed her to the hospital and uh, expecting na normal lang yung delivery, you know, normal lang yung kanyang panganganak, but you know what, something happened. Na yung hindi natin ini-expect, yung gusto natin mangyari, hindi pala yun yung mga nangyayari. No? Life is full of those surprises. And when we are in the hospital, no? uh, biglang nag-declare ang, ang doctor na is no possible, is, uh, yung possibility na mga nganak siya normally ay hindi pwede. Why? Because na cord coil po yung baby. And kung tutuloy yung delivery, of course, pwedeng mamatay yung baby at yung misis ko pwedeng mamatay. And I'm so concerned about the health and the welfare of my, of my, of my, uh, yung mag ko. And so I just signed that waiver and proceeded with the cesarean operation. But it left me so afraid. It left me so concerned. Why? Because I know at that moment, wala akong pera, wala akong capacity. No? Malayo yung family ko at hindi ako sanay humingi ng tulong sa kanila. And I feel during the time na, uh, what can I do? I cannot do this anymore. But you know what, kapatid, I tell you, darating at darating ayo sa panahon ng buhay natin that we say, I cannot do this anymore. So that we will look up to God and say, nothing is impossible with God. You know what, 
itong kwento na ito tatapusin ko mamaya at the end of my message and I'm going to share to you ano yung ginawa ng Lord but right at this moment I want to say and I want to share to each one of us the title of the message If I can, God can If you can, God can Let's just turn our Bibles in Matthew chapter 14 and I'll be reading from verse 15 to verse 18 Ready na po ba tayo? No? Uh, here's the verse goes. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it is already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They don't need to, to, to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered, Bring them here to me, Jesus said. Now, ito pong kwento na ito, this is a very familiar story because this was the feeding of the 5,000. No? This is an event na familiar po sa marami sa atin. And I want to share to you three, three things. I want to share to you three moments that will make us or even break us. Three things na will really expose no? yung ating pong uh, limitation and also will expose the unlimited resource that we have with the Lord. First is, we will talk about concern, crisis, and the command. Okay, again, concern, crisis, and command. When we read through sa passage na ito, it is as if that the crowd is not really bothered na parang medyo matagal na yung kwentuhan nila, matagal na si Jesus na nagtuturo sa kanila, and it's about getting late. At the same time, nasa remote place sila, and it is getting late. And so somehow, isa sa mga disciples, or maybe the disciple of Jesus came to him and begin to uh, remind him, or parang uh, siguro parang uh, in-stop nila si Jesus while Jesus is talking at may nagbulong kay Jesus, sinabi sa kanya, Lord, we are in a remote place, it's getting late, no? and we need to send people away. I don't know if Jesus was aware no? na padilim na and they are in a remote place. Of course, I know that, alam ni Lord yun. But uh, maybe also that he is doing it on purpose, no? But whether he know it or not, hindi po yun yung concern. What Jesus Christ wants to tell them is that no matter what your situation, no matter how impossible, no matter how dark your situation, he has always the solution. Kaya this morning, kapatid, I want you to uh, to know this. Na anuman situation na meron kang ngayon, no? Jesus has a solution for that. Maybe right now, problematic kasi situation mo. You know what? Just look up to Jesus. Why? Because if you can, God can. No? In verse 15, mabasa po natin dito yung concern. Let me read this passage. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. No? So the concerns of the disciple is three things. Tatlong paraan po, tatlong way in-express nila yung kanilang concern. Number one, sinabi nila, Lord, this is a remote place. Ibig sabihin, we are in a distant place. Itong location na ito, uh, wala tayong resources na maaanap dito. Itong place na met na kung saan tayo ngayon, wala tayong access sa mga commodities. Kung gusto man natin pakiinin yung mga tao, walang bakery. Why? Because we are in a remote place. This is an empty place. Or maybe right now, kapatid, I tell you, baka nasa ganito kang situation. You feel like you're alone. Maybe you feel like you are in a uh, in a desperate situation na wala nang kakaintindi sa iyo, wala nang kakakita sa iyo. You are in a place of scarcity, you you are in a place of dryness, no? And th- that brings so much concern sa iyo. Secondly, nakikita po natin dito, ang sabi ng mga disciples, it's already late. It's getting late already, no? Ibig sabihin, if it is possible na makaproduce tayo ng pagkain, makaluto man tayo, ano ba? hindi na rin mangyayari. Why? Because it's already late. Wala na tayong time. No? Wala na tayong oras. And this is the second concern ng mga disciples. And thirdly, yung third concern nila is yung kanilang helplessness. Kaya sinabi nila kay Jesus, send the people away because this is their way of saying, Lord, we are helpless. Wala tayong capacity. Lord, impossible na mapakain natin itong mga taong ito paghihingi sila ng pagkain. And so, gagawin na lang natin is we, we just send them away. Alam niyo yung mga disciples kagaya natin, uh, magaling silang gumamit ng calculator. Magaling silang magcompute 
at magaling sila sa science. Because when they look at the situation, ang kanilang analysis, ang kanilang conclusion is, there is no possibility that these people will have something to eat. And so, the most practical way na pwede natin gawin ay pauwiin na lang yung mga tao. You know what? When we look into this passage, just like these disciples, maybe you are uh, in a desperate situation. Maybe you have a concern right now na nararamdaman mo that you are helpless. Nararamdaman mo na ta- ang hira, parang tagtuyot. You have no resources. And you have no time. Siro, kung titingnan mo yung wallet mo ngayon, sis, titingnan mo yung finances mo, wala kang capacity para bayaran yung mga utang, bayaran yung mga obligations mo. And uh, sometimes, ang pinakamatindi pa dito ay parang kagaya ng mga disciples, nararamdaman natin, concern ba si Lord? Is the Lord concern about my situation? No? Concern kaya ang Panginoon sa sa situation natin? Why? Because kung titingnan natin dito, uh, the disciples are telling Jesus, Lord, aren't you aware that we are in a remote place? Na, na-remember ko yung encounter ni Jesus with the disciples when they are in the middle doon sa, sa sea, no? Dumating yung storm, dumating yung matinding hangin, and Jesus Christ was was uh, was there sleeping. Natutulog si Jesus. And sabi ng isang disciple, ginising si Jesus sa sidemi, Don't you care that we are about to drown? And sometimes yun yung pakiramdam natin. But sinagot ni Jesus yung disciple, You of little faith. Alam niyo minsan, dumarating yung mga concerns sa buhay natin in order to expose where our faith really is in order to uh, to expose kung ang pananampalataya natin ay nasa Panginoon ba or nasa sarili natin or nasa capacity natin, nasa uh, galing natin or kung ano man yung resources na inaasahan natin. no? So, you know what? You, if you have a concern right now, I want you to trust in the perfect timing of God. I tell you, when Jesus Christ works in our lives, He's never too late or He is never too early. Okay? The second thing that we want to uh, to see here is the moment of crisis. This is found in verse 16 and in verse 17. Sabi sa verse 16, Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. Give them something to eat. Verse 17, We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered. I want you to take note dun sa sinabi ng disciples, We have here only Ibig sabihin, it talks about limit source, limited supply. We have here only. no. But before going to that, there are two things na gusto kong i-emphasize. Number one, yung mga disciples, they were shocked doon sa situation na parang nararamdaman nila na si Lord ay parang walang concern sa pangangailangan ng mga tao. In fact, kailangan pa nilang i-remind si Jesus that they are in a remote place and that it's getting late and people need to go home or to go to the village para makahanap sila ng ng pagkain no but much greater surprise or mas lalong nagpapasyak sa kanila ay yung naging response ni Jesus sabi nila di ba lord send them away para makahanap sila ng pagkain ano sig- ano bang sinagot ni Jesus sa kanila sabi ni Jesus you don't need to go to send them away hindi hindi niyo sila kailangan i-send out paalisin Maybe in the mind of the disciples, uh, siguro meron ito siyang, meron ito siyang paraan o meron siyang inihanda na paraan para mapakain itong mga taong ito. Or maybe mas may better siya na idea. But much to their surprise, kasi sinabi ni Lord sa kanila, give them something to eat. And I tell you, this is not a suggestion, this is a command. Para bang yung magulong situation o yung mahirap na situation, mas, ma- mas lalo pang pinahirap ni Lord. Kaya sabi ni Mark eh, even yung half a year's wage is not enough to feed these people. And right now, sabi ng Lord, you give them something to eat. Isip ko tuloy, kung ang isa sa mga disciples ni Jesus ay pilosopong Pilipino, pwede sigurong sasagutin si Jesus, no? Una-una, Lord, hindi naman kami yung dahilan. Bakit yung mga taong yan ay nandito eh? Ikaw naman yung sinusundan nila. Pangalawa, hindi naman kami yung nagsasalita, kaya masyadong matagal or kaya nadaknan tayo ng gabi, ikaw pa rin. Pangatlo, ba ikaw naman yung nag-suggest that they don't need to go away? Why is it na ngayon parang problema namin na hanapan ng pagkain itong mga taong ito? No? Why is it our problem now? Maybe yun yung magig- pwede yung magiging ta- sagot ng mga disciples. I learned from this message or from this story, gustong sabihin ng Panginoon na ang mga disciples, kagaya natin, we have our own way 
of limiting a limitless God. Sa situation natin, yes, lalong-lalo na minsan pag tayo ay masyado nang desperate, masyado tayong worried, masyado tayong nag-aalala at masyado tayong natatakot, meron tayong mga nasasabing mga bagay, mar- marami tayong mga na, uh, na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga response no, na magpapakita ng kawalan natin ng pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Just look at the disciples. Sabi nila, Lord, meron dito five loaves of uh, bread and two fish. Pero sabi niya, we only have, only, anuhin namin itong maliit na ito sa sobrang laki ng pangangailangan. You know what? Sometimes our human minds operate on the basis of what is practical and what is logical. Yun yung, yun yung takbo ng isip natin. Yun yung, yun yung basis ng judgment natin. Binabase natin sa kung ano yung present realities natin. Often, yung ating pag ay nakabase sa calculator. Alam mo, pag gumagamit ka ng calculator, hindi mo mararanasan ang, ang power at ang kapangyarihan ng Lord. Why? I tell you, faith doesn't work through calculator. Hindi po nag-work yung faith through science and mathematics. It never works through logic. If you have, if you need faith in your life, you need supernatural. Kailangan mo ng supernatural move ng Lord. You know what? Just lately, tatlong buwan na po hindi nakabayad yung church sa bill ng Oriente. At hindi din nakabayad yung church sa bill ng, ng rental ng building. But salamat sa Panginoon dahil yung may-ari ng building natin na hindi naman sinisingil yung church because alam ng may-ari na wala tayong meeting since uh, end of March hanggang ngayon. So praise the Lord kasi wala pang singil, no? hindi pa sila naniningil. Pero yung bill ng kuryente, yung bill ng tubig ay uh, although merong, uh, uh, merong allowance na binibigay, and yet, kailangan mong bayaran yon Just uh, last uh, March or April, meron naman akong naitabi na kunting pera na para sana pambayad doon sa bills pero mas na, mas inuna po namin yung uh, pagbigay ng mga groceries uh, doon sa mga members na nangangailangan at even doon sa mga community people and uh, yung pera na yun nagastos namin in order to help other people kaya ngayon yung concern is wala nang pambayad sa bill ng kuryente but you know what God is really good alam niyo sometimes ang principle kasi ng kaharian ng Panginoon is seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you as well. And true enough, God did something really miraculous or did something so amazing. I'm I'm really not expecting, hindi ko po ini-expect na uh, meron pong pagpapalang darating. No? Hindi ko na lang sabihin kung saan ang galing, but this blessing came from uh, came from a, a friend and a supporter, and yung blessing na yun exactly na pinadala kapatid, it's just enough dun sa 3 months na pangbayad ng kuryente. Wow! God is really amazing. And uh, you know what? If you experience the power of the Lord lately sa buhay mo, can you just type Amen? No? Uh, can you just type Hallelujah sa, sa comment section natin ngayon? Why? Because let's celebrate the goodness and the power of God. But you know what? The power, the, the, the principle here is, you know what? Just, just trust in the Lord. The principle here is, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you as well. You know what? Right now, kapatid, if you are facing a crisis, maybe you have a great need. Maybe you feel na uh, meron kang matindi pangangailangan and yet yung resources mo ay limited. Or maybe yung sinasabi ng doktor ay yung health uh, problem mo ay wala nang solusyon yan. Mabubuhay ka na lang na 3 months o ano ba. O kung titingnan mo yung wallet mo o yung account mo sa banko ay hindi na kayang isustain yung pangangailangan ng family sa darating na mga araw, I want you right now to just lift up your concerns to the Lord. Just trust in the Lord. Why? Because you know what? In the midst of crisis, sa panahon po na meron tayong crisis, yan yung favorite na avenue ng Panginoon para ma-prove niya sa atin na when all things fail, God will never fail. God will prove to you that when you can't, God can. Hallelujah. And then lastly, number three, ito po yung command. No? Moment of command. Sabi sa verse 18, bring them to me, he said. No? So, you know what? The disciples, balikan natin very quickly. The disciples thought na after nilang ipakita kay Jesus yung mga reasons why they, he, he needs to send them away. No? Uh, parang makonvince niya si Jesus na uh, paalisin na yung mga tao. But suddenly, iba pala yung demand, iba pala yung command ng Lord. Sabi ng Lord, you uh, you you give them something to eat and it bothered the disciples kasi nga wala na nga silang wala na nga silang resources they're in a remote place and yet ngayon sabi ng Lord give them something to eat 
Buti na lang, meron pong uh, bata na nag-offer ng kanyang five loaves of bread and two fish in order for Jesus to do something great in your life. In order for Jesus to do a miracle in your life, sometimes He need to have a starting point. Marami sa atin humihingi tayo ng miracle. Marami sa atin humihingi tayo kay Lord ng financial breakthrough. Marami sa atin na nanalangin na i-restore ng Lord yung ating relationship. Marami sa atin gustong magiging mayaman. Marami sa atin gustong maging magaling uh, physically. But in order for Jesus to do something great or to do a miracle in our lives, He need to start something. And I would like to, I want to uh, suggest to you, ano ba yung mga starting points na pwede nating umpisahan? Because we will trace back in the Bible, we have seen examples that before Jesus will perform something, a miracle, no great breakthrough, or a deliverance, He needs to start something. Like just Moses, before He delivered Israel, no from the hand of Egypt, ang tanong ng Panginoon sa kay, kay Moses, what is it in your hand? At sabi ni Moses, I, I, what I have here is a staff. At sabi ng Lord, with that staff, I'm going to deliver Israel. No? So that's a simple staff. But out from that, dahil kanyang binigay kay Lord, in-offer niya kay Lord yung staff na yon, ang nangyari is, he was able to deliver Israel. There was also a woman in Seraphat, a widow, na sabi niya uh, kay Elijah, na itong pagkain na ito, this is our last meal, and after I cook itong pagkain na ito, ako at saka ang aking anak na lalaki, ay mamamatay na kami, dahil wala na kami pagkain. But sabi ni Elijah, lutuan mo muna ako, nahin mo muna ako. Alam niyo ang ginawa ng woman, ni lutuan, niya una yung man of God and right after that she experienced the greatest miracle in her life all throughout ng famine na yon the famine lasted for about 3 three years and, and, and a half and yet hindi siya nawalan hindi siya naubusan why? because he, she learned to offer to the man of God she learned to offer to God the little that she has marami po and even itong kwento na ito the, the boy offered five loaves of, of bread and two fish and out from that, Jesus was able to feed the, to feed the 5,000. So many examples in the Bible. And you need to start with something. Maybe today, ang challenge ng Panginoon sa atin, in spite of the great need na meron tayo, meron tayong pandemic, lahat ng mga tao iniisip ngayon kung paano tayo makapag-ipon, paano tayo uh, magkaroon ng pera, paano natin ma-hoard yung mga bagay. You know what? Uh, yun yung iniisip ng tao. Maybe the Lord is telling you right now, with the little that you have, Yung maliit na meron ka ngayon, you share it to others. You learn to give. You learn to be generous. Why? Because ang lesson ng Panginoon sa panahon ng taghirap, sa panahon ng tagtuyot kapatid, is generosity. Yung mga Macedonian believers, sabi ng Bible, even though they are suffering a great deal ng kahirapan, financially, socially, and everything else, yet sabi ng Bible, sabi ni Paul, they welled up in rich generosity. Ibig sabihin, hindi po uh, hindi po rason yung uh, kahirapan na hindi tayo maging generous. Why? Because maybe ang hinihintay ng Panginoon para ma-experience mo yung greatest miracle o yung greatest breakthrough mo ngayon kapatid na ma-provide yung mga pangangailangan mo is to just release whatever you have right now. Kahit maliit lang yung meron ka, just release it and trust the Lord na siya yung magpo-provide sa'yo ng anuman yung pangangailangan na meron ka. No? I want you to remember when there is a great need, it requires a greater seed. Kung merong matinding pangangailangan, it requires a greater seed. Pangalawa, to talk about relationships. Siguro marami sa atin ngayon, nanonood ka, wala ka magandang relationship sa anak mo, wala ka masyadong magandang relationship sa husband mo or, what, or other people, and you want to live a peaceful life, gusto mong makatulog ng mayayos sa gabi, gusto mong ma-fix yung relationship problems mo, you know what, yung problem mo sa kapitbahay mo na parati kang tinitira, parati kang uh, inaatake, why won't you just forgive the person? Just bless the person and secondly, just release that person from any grudge na meron ka sa puso mo. Alam mo, yung pag, pagpatawad, pag-release ng forgiveness sa mga tao, kapatid, is not for them. Kasi minsan ini sinasabi natin, hindi naman sila nag hindi naman siya humingi sa akin ng sorry, bakit ko siya papatawarin? I tell you, you need to forgive the person not because humingi siya ng sorry, you forgive the person for your own peace para sa sarili mong kapayapaan, no? And so I encourage you right now, kung meron kang maiisip right now, maybe a member of a family, 
tatay mo, nanay mo, mga kapatid o sino man yan na medyo nasaktan ka, no forgive the person from your heart. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting, no most of the time, but forgiving means forgiving. Just forgive the person. Why? Because when you re- release forgiveness to other people, you will be released as well. Thirdly, the greatest the, the, the best thing that you can do kapatid in order that God can perform miracles sa buhay mo is just abandon. Trust God. Acknowledge that it's beyond your control and acknowledge na kung wala ang Panginoon, wala kang magawa. Sabi nga sa Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Hallelujah. And I want to end this by closing yung story na inumpisahan ko kanina about cesarean ng aking misis. Yes, natapos na yung yung cesarean but you know what I sinabi ko na I'm really worried because I I know na I don't have capacity para bayaran yung bill sa 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 hospital and ako yung person na hindi ako talaga hilig na humingi ng tulong sa mga kamag-anak or even my family and ako lang mag-isa sa Cotabato City yung family ko ay nasa iba't ibang mga places and they are also pastors pag pastor minsan no sa panahon natin dati ay, mga pastors wala tayong masyadong maasahan no? And so I feel I'm abandoned. I feel like I am alone. No? In fact, yung ako ay uh, umuwi sa bahay mga madaling araw about uh, 4 in the morning and I- I- inilibing ko po yung yung bahay bata ng ng aking missis, no? And why I was driving yung motorcycle ng church. Ang isip ko po talaga ay wala sa pagda-drive. Ang isip ko talaga ay sana ko kukuha, sana ko kukuha. Parang talagang yung logic ko, yung yung mathematics ko talagang nagwo-work, no? Sana ko kukuha sino makakatulong sa akin because I feel that that time na parang hirap talaga, no? In fact, muntik na akong masagasaan ng 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 uh, pick up sa may kanto dahil nga wala ang isip ko ay ay wala doon sa situation. I am just really worried ito. The good news ko pa din alam niyo ba? Hindi namin ini-expect na yung mismong doktor na private doktor isang kilalang doktor dito sa Cotabato City o bigay ni si Dr. Alaw private doktor she offered yung kanyang service to us for free just imagine that no? hindi namin lubos inisip na sabi niya pastor wag ka nang mag-alala sa, sa pambayad mo because I'm going to uh, give my service for free and what happened next is, meron pa kaming babayaran. I think, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, sa, nasa mga 12,000 yung excess namin, bawas yung PhilHealth, no? At the same time, may mga gamot pa na kailangan bilihin. And uh, medyo mga siguro, mga 15,000. There was a couple from our church na hindi namin inexpect na sila yung nag-shoulder lahat ng babayaran namin sa hospital. And kung nanonood sila ngayon, alam nila, al- alam ko, al- alam nila ito. And I just want to just thank you and bless you. No, dahil ginamit kayo ng Panginoon to meet our needs during the time. But you know what, kapatid? Ang lesson dito is, minsan feeling natin that we cannot do it anymore. But when we just lift up our concerns to Jesus, meron palang paraan ng Panginoon. Ang invitation lang ng Panginoon sa atin ngayon is, bring it to me. Ang tanong ko ngayon, kapatid, ano bang meron ka? Ano ba yung concern na meron ka na kailangan mong dalahin kay Jesus? Jesus said in Matthew, no? Come to me, all of you who are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I want to just encourage you this morning, kapatid. I just want to encourage you right now. Don't lose your hope. Just keep your eyes on Jesus. Just put your trust in Jesus. Why? Because when everything else fails, there is one thing that never fails, and that is the promises of the Lord and the faithfulness of the Lord sa buhay mo. And sabi ng Panginoon sa atin ngayon, just bring it to me. That's why right now, kapatid, let's just bring everything to Jesus. Let's just bring our family to Jesus. Bring natin yung sitwasyon natin, yung pera mo, hindi na kayang isustain yung pangangailangan ng family. Na-extend, na-extend na naman yung GCQ and hindi, hindi mo na alam kung saan ka kukuha. But I just want to tell you right now, kapatid, hang on, hold on. No? Hold on to your faith. Why? Because Jesus has a great breakthrough sa buhay mo. Hindi ka pababayaan ng Lord. Just like what happened here at the last minute, at the moment na hindi ini-expect ng mga disciples at ng crowd, doon nag-perform si Lord. Siguro kailangan lang natin uh, dumating sa punto ng buhay natin kapatid na lahat ng mga pinaniniwalaan natin ay mag-collapse so that ang maiiwan na lang ay yung pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. You know what? This morning, I want to pray for you. 
if you are this person who needs prayer, I want you to comment down below. React, no? Uh, maybe whatever need that you have, no? Or maybe pwede mo rin i-type ko na yung gusto mong ipag-pray. And I want to lead you in this, in, this, in this prayer right now. Can you just bow down your head? Wherever you are, I want you to connect yourself to God. Don't, wag mong isipin kapatid yung limitasyon mo. Isipin mo right now that you are serving a God that is unlimited. Nothing is impossible with the Lord. Amen. As one, I want you to bow down your head right now. Close your eyes and let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your goodness and your faithfulness sa buhay namin. Salamat for reminding us, Panginoon, na kung hindi namin kaya, Lord, kaya mo, Panginoon, dahil walang imposible sa iyo. Patawarin mo kami, Lord, sa mga pagkakataon na nararamdaman namin na parang kami ay naaabandon. Mga pagkakataon, Panginoon, na nararamdaman namin na kami mag-isa at minsan may be feeling ng iba sa amin, Lord, na hindi ka sir, Lord, hindi mo nakikita yung aming mga pangangailangan. But Lord, this our all lies from the devil. And so right now, kapatid, if you are this person, I want you to just hold on to the promise of God. I want you to reach out your hand to the Lord and say, God, Lord, I need help right now. Lord, I cannot do it anymore. God, I need you. I need your miracle. I need your breakthrough. I need, Lord God, your power, Lord, to be made manifest in situation for right now. Yes, hallelujah. And kapatid, maybe the Lord is telling you right now, Ah, if you want to experience financial blessing, learn to give generously. If you want to fix your relationship, learn to forgive. And if you want to see great miracles and breakthroughs sa buhay mo, maybe sinasabi ng Lord sa sa iyo ngayon that ah, just just lay down everything. No, wag kang umasa so anumang mga bagay iba't umasa ka lang sa akin. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just commit your heart to the Lord. Just commit your life to Jesus right now. Just commit your concerns to Him and say, Lord, I need your help. I need your grace. Come into my life. Come into my situation. Come into my family and begin to fix things that God way beyond my capacity of fixing. Lord, inaamin ko po ngayon, Panginoon, na wala akong capacity. Inaamin ko po ngayon, Lord, wala akong kakayanan para ayusin yung problema na ito. Pero naniniwala ako na Ikaw lamang ang tang- tanging paraan upang masolusyonan ito mga Mga ka namin, for the faithfulness and goodness in our lives. In Jesus, in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. May God will bless us mga kapatid and I hope you will continue to follow in our uh, Facebook page. No, Let us know if itong message na ito ay naging blessing sa'yo. And kung meron mang kayong mga prayer concerns or if you want counseling, just, just text us, just call us, or maybe messenger, but uh, we can minister to you, no? and we will keep on uh, trusting na ano man yung mga situation na naharap natin ngayon, kasama natin ang Panginoon. Amen!